what should you bring to your first appointment with a child and adolescent psychiatrist? We'll talk about it here on The Drum Doc. So here are the four main ingredients to help you get the most out of your first child and adolescent psychiatric evaluation. Number one, the child, the centerpiece of the evaluation. It's important that the child is there for a number of reasons. One, it wouldn't be possible for us to give tailored recommendations for a child that we haven't seen. Part of our evaluation is seeing how a child interacts with their family, how they do with us, how they do with play, and also monitoring uh, some really important things that may be necessary for us to check in on depending on the type of intervention that we pick. So having their height and weight and blood pressure and heart rate um, are valuable markers for us to follow typically over time. Number two is the parent, guardian, caregiver who has a very active role in the daily life of your child. And I say that in the plural because it really is helpful for us to have all eyes uh, looking at the same uh, problem or issue together. Number three is testing. So uh, many children before they come to see me may have already had other tests in the past. So if they've had a comprehensive psychiatric evaluation, bring that to the appointment. If your child has had some educational testing through the school or has a formalized plan, some of these are called 504 plans or an individualized education plan, bring those in. If your child has had other psychological testing, so that might be IQ or visual spatial testing, all those things are helpful to give us an impression of how they function and how your child thinks or processes. And then number four, um, having the packet completed. So most clinics will offer a packet that um, asks a whole range of questions. My favorite part of the packet is actually the section that's free form, where parents can just draw out and write in as much detail as they want uh, their most pressing concerns for their child um, and maybe subsequently for the family. And so this is helpful for us because Often, if there's something sensitive that shouldn't be shared in the bigger group setting with everyone in the family, we can help to plan the time accordingly. So, to review, number one, the child, number two, the parent, uh, number three, any testing uh, that your child has had in the past, and then also uh, the intake packet, which has the information that we're looking for. I hope this has been helpful for you. Um, please come back and visit often. Take good care and be well.